Okay. There's a lot, there's a, I, uh, you know, I come down, I come down here, I come down here quite a bit early to get everything set up before we even do any of this. So I don't, I don't just, I don't just turn on my camera at quarter to, at quarter to the hour. I'm doing a lot of stuff while you guys are praising and worshiping. I'm in here with my microphone and my speakers turned off. I'm also praising and worshiping and setting things up and getting stuff ready. So, you know, this, this is, this, this is a couple of hours before you ever see me. I'm, I'm well at work way before you ever see me doing this stuff. This isn't just, this is not a hobby. Okay. This is not my hobby. This is, this is, we come here to honor God. Oh, and Lord, this morning, we honor you. Lord, I, we just come, we come with adoration into your presence again this morning. Father, we come here today, gathered into this sanctuary, be it on Zoom or YouTube or Facebook or wherever they're finding us today. We come here today, requesting an audience with you, our King. We request an audience with you, our King. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord, that you've created each and every single one of us for a time such as this. We thank you, Lord, that we are all new creations in Christ. That when we said yes to you, you gave us your very spirit, the spirit that brought the entire earth and everything in it into existence, the entire universe, in fact. The power of the living God that created the entire universe and everything it's comprised of has given us his Holy Spirit. And Lord, today, we just come to you. We come to you. We say we love you, our King. We praise you, our King. We honor you, our King. And we request an audience with you, our King. We are your people. You are our God. We will not bend our knee to an earthly king. We will not bend our knee to a self-declared king. We will not bend our knee to any power or principality or spirit other than you, Jesus Christ, Holy Spirit, Father God, we bend our knee to you and to you alone. And this morning, we come to honor you, and we will speak your word, and we thank you for bringing it to pass. This is your day. You've made it. We're gonna, we, we, are, we just rejoice, and we're glad in it. Whether, whether live streams work or live streams don't work, we don't care because all we want is you, God. All we want is you. But God, there are people on Facebook that are hungry for your word. And I command by the, by the spirit of the most high God, that technology must begin to work now. Father, not for my sake, not for these people's sake, but for the, those who need to hear you who cannot get into this live call. Lord, do it for them. Do it for your own name's sake. In the name of Jesus Christ, this we pray today. Lord, do it for you. Do it for them. Don't do it for us. Do it for them, Lord. Do it for them, Lord. Do it for them. Oh, Father God, we have, we have you've, you've, you've built an audience there, Father God. So come and speak to them now. Speak to them. Speak to them. Speak to them, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Oh, yeah. We praise you, God. We praise you, Lord. We do praise you, Lord. All right. I don't know. I don't. Is there anything going on here in the chats? Has somebody been able to check Facebook, see if it's going? Uh, just to let me know. Facebook is not streaming. Okay. Facebook is not streaming. Give me one second here. I'm going to shut this off and uh, we'll just, I'll go straight. Let me just try something else here and uh, we'll just do this. <laughs> and we will just do this. Uh, hang on a second here. Uh, show it on your time. Show it on your page. Come on. Just give me one second here. All right. It, it should pick up into Facebook now. It will not be on YouTube. So, hey, listen, I don't know if you Facebook people got YouTube friends. Just go tell them and we'll, uh, we'll, we'll, figure, out, we'll figure out how to download it and re-upload it later. God, we bless you, Lord. Technology will not get the better of us. We will not get anxious. We will not grow weary. We will not get frustrated. We serve the most high God. And Satan, if that's the best you got to keep us off of YouTube, we don't want to support that Google platform anyway. We don't want nothing to do with them, Lord. We thank you for new platforms. God, we thank you for new megaphones. God, we thank you. We thank you for new ways to reach your people right here, right now. Lord, maybe this is a sign that they're going down and we're going up. So let them go down and let us 
go up in the spirit of the Lord most high this very day. See you later, Meta. Your name means death anyway, and we want nothing to do with it. Oh, we praise you, God. We praise you, God. We praise you, God. We have looked into the eyes of death, and we have overcome it, and we will not have anything to do with it. So, God, we just praise you this morning. Oh, there's joy in the house of the Lord this morning. There is joy in this house. Our day of breakthrough is here. Oh, Mike, the spike's been doing his thing, and we've been doing our thing, and God's been doing his thing, and the people in Israel have been doing their thing, and the guys down in Houston, Texas, they've been doing their thing, and, and Art Lucier and his firewall, they've been doing their thing, and all of these things have come together, and God has done his thing, and he's using his people to do it. Oh, praise you, God. We celebrate you this morning. We celebrate you. This is not Howard's show. This is not Deanna's show. This is not Jody's show. Lord, this is your show. We are your people, and I just thank you that we get to come alongside, co-labor with you, and that you get to use us, that we get to be used by you. Oh, oh, I don't feel used, and I don't feel abused. I feel privileged that we get to be used by you. What a privilege, Lord. What a privilege. <laughs> oh, thank you, Father God. Yes, Lord, we love you, and we exalt you yet again this very day. All right. Well, I got, okay, so uh, I, pu I pulled up the lyrics to some songs here. And uh, today's song is Heart of the Father by Ryan Ellis, you know, and I thought today, even Lord, I felt the Lord saying, you know, play this one and it, 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 it won't play. So we're not going to play it. We're just going to we're just we're just going to enjoy these lyrics. Listen, just listen, just listen. Let these into your DNA. Let these into the very mitochondria, the very fiber that creates the let it get it down into the deepest part of you this morning. Oh, I've never known. This is the Heart of the Father by Ryan Ellis. I've never known a love like yours. So intimate, so powerful, and I've tasted and I've seen, and nothing comes close. I've never known a love like yours. Jesus, your name is power. It's breath and living water, and your spirit guides me to the heart of the Father. Let your praise ring louder every day and every hour, because your spirit guides me right back to the heart of the Father. I've never felt at home like this just like a child, so innocent, and I'm safe inside your arms because you won't let go, and I've never known a love like yours. Oh, no. Jesus, your name is power. It's breath, and it's living water, and your spirit guides me right to the heart of the Father. <laughs> let your praise ling ring louder every day and every hour because your spirit guides me right to the heart of the Father. Oh, we sing praise. We sing praise. We sing praise. Now, you don't have to sing. Some of you love to sing. Go ahead and sing. Some of you don't love to sing. Don't sing. Just shout praise. We shout praise. Praise, praise. God, we shout praise. Praise, praise. God, we sing praise. Praise, praise. Oh, God, we sing praise, praise, praise. Because Jesus, your name is power. Jesus, it's breath and living water. Your spirit guides me right to the heart of the Father. Let your praise ling, ring louder every day and every hour because your spirit guides me right to the heart of the Father. Jesus, your name is power. It's breath and living water. It's your spirit that guides me to the heart of the Father. Let your praise ring louder every day and every hour because your spirit guides me to the heart of the Father. Sing praise, sing praise. Oh, God, we sing praise. I want to go back and I want to read this. I wasn't going to go here today. I had, a, I had something else chalked up, but I just feel the spirit moving here. Jesus, your name is power. It's breath and living water. And your spirit guides me to the heart of the fire. Father, let your praise ring louder every day and every hour because your spirit guides me to the heart of the Father. <clears throat> I don't know about you, but I've had times where I've found myself in the desert. Lord, where are you? How come I can't hear you? Am I alone? Maybe some of you have felt that. Maybe you some experiencing that right now. I mean, listen, we've already established everything that I've experienced is just a metaphor to come. <laughs> he lets me experience these things so I can talk to you at a very real level about the things that you're also experiencing. And I'm not saying this is your current condition, but for somebody, maybe it is. He's got me walking in some new waters. This is very strange territory for me. You know, for years, he would, I could feel him in my spirit. I could hear him in my ear. And when we started month 11 of this call, he stopped talking to me. 
but he didn't really stop talking to me. He just began speaking to me in a brand new way that I couldn't recognize. And he was teaching me. And he actually said to me, this is your version of walking on water. So I'm not going to go through all the conversation that I had with him, but you know, I, I'm a kind of type A guy, you know, like I like to, I like to get things done. I like, I like to be busy. I like to be productive more than anything. My heart is to edify. I just want to see people become the best versions of themselves. I mean, that really has been my driver my entire life, whether it was my clients, whether it was coaching, when I was in working for big corporations, all I ever cared about was helping my customer be better than they were before I showed up. And then, you know, call me into the coaching business and in, in the training business 20 years ago. And all I ever cared about was helping my, not my client, not the corporation, the people be better versions of themselves. Because if I could make the people, if I could help the people be better versions of where they started to where they finished, then by the nature of improving their most valuable asset, their people, those companies would be better companies. Not because I focused on the company, not because I focused on the profit, not because I focused on their mission statement, because I focused on the people that were going to execute this. And I just help them become better versions of themselves. That's all I care about. But in the quest to do that, I get pretty busy. <laughs> and I like to do things with excellence. In the last couple of weeks, I've been sitting here going, I, well, Lord, I don't hear you. I said, I just need to hear you. I need to hear you. I'm so used to hearing you. <clears throat> I shared this story. I've got, we got, got, I've got a couple intercessor teams, and I've, 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 I've shared this story with them. About a year and a half ago, we, I live about a block from the beach. It's a rocky beach, right on the Pacific Ocean, waves crashing in. It's covered with big industry here is lumber. And a lot, a lot of time they transport this lumber using barges and all kinds of things to drag the logs up. They put pens. Some of them bust loose. There's a lot of driftwood that hits this beach that we walk on. And it's beautiful. It's rugged. It's magnificent, but it's rugged. You know, and I talked about my little dog next door, uh, the, the neighbor's dog, Monty. Okay, a lot of Monty comes in here. And like, if my doors are open, he'd probably bust through and he'd come, he'd come onto the call. Anyway, so I, we get onto that beach. Michaela and I go for a walk. Sometimes we take Monty with us. And, uh, but if he's not with us, I find Monty sticks and I just, I just, I collect Monty sticks and I got a whole pile of Monty sticks back in the backyard because that dog, he, he busts through, he comes, he comes and he hangs out with us. And the people that own him, they know where he is. They're never worried about him. He's either here or he's, he's at home or he's here. They're his second home. So I, I, we have piles of these Monty sticks. Well, one day we were down walking the beach looking for Monty sticks. And I, this particular day, I found this thing. It's a big stick. This is not a Monty stick. Friday last week, this was gray, rugged. This was just a craggy old stick. It was full of splintered edges. Uh, it was gray. It was dull. It, and but when I saw this stick sitting on that beach 18 months ago, I looked at it. I go, hey, Michaela, that'd make a pretty good walking stick for you. So I brought it home, and she just finally looked at me a couple of days later. She goes, I don't want a walking stick. I don't need a walking stick. And so I was ready to turn this into a Monty stick. <laughs> But the Lord wouldn't let me do it. I just, there was something I could, I just couldn't give this stick to that dog. <laughs> just, I just, I, there was something I couldn't give the dog the stick. Well, for the last couple of weeks, I've been sitting going, Lord, where are you? He says, I'm right here. He says, go out to your garage, go get that stick. And I started looking at this thing. He said, you've been asking me for a staff. I gave you one 18 months ago. I said, what? He said, take out that stick, start working it. So on Saturday afternoon, listen, I put, I, I put a lot of pressure on myself. I want to get that community site up. I want to get a new declaration written. You know, I, I did a lot of work on that fast trader thing. And I put all this pressure on myself to do things to serve you. That's really what drives me. And Lord said, just sit down and start working this thing. So I got out some chisels and I started, I started honing it. I got out a, I got out a what's it called, lathe. And I started getting the rough edges off it. I mean, this thing, I'm telling you, there, was, there were rough edges on this thing. You put your finger on it, you'd have splinters all over you. And then I took out a sanding machine and I just, I just began working it, working it. I spent about six hours on this thing last Saturday. On the one hand, I was, I was putting, I, I felt pressure to come back into this office and just do some work. 
And the Lord said, just stay here and work that stick. And as I worked on, and as I worked on this thing, he started talking to me. He said, will you just quit trying to be so busy and just spend some time with me? Just shut it all down and spend some time with me. He said, aren't you the one that keeps telling them on that call to quit trying to figure out how I'm going to do it and just trust that I'm going to do it? I said, yes, Lord. He said, well, it applies to you also. Just spend some time with me. Don't you understand that the thing that I long for and desire the most is that you just spend some time with me? I said, yes, Lord. So I just began, I began working this thing back and forth. First with 60 grit paper to get all the rough edges off it. Then I moved to 100 grit paper to, to take it down a bit more. And then I moved to 120 grit paper. And I took this thing up and down and up and down and up and down until I finally got to the 800 grit paper and made this thing as smooth as a brand new baby's bottom. And by the time I was done, he looked at me. He said, look what you've got. He said, he's, and this thing is beautiful. This is my, look at, just look at the markings on this. This did not look like this. So I, you know, I, and maybe another day I'll talk about the significance of some of the markings on this thing. This is huge. And honestly, I picked this thing up now. I'll, I'll hold that up. I feel the power of God in here. I asked him to anoint this. He said to me, you asked me for a staff for the last two years. I gave you one. He said, I needed you to have a relationship with that piece of wood, knowing that I'm right in the middle of it. And he talked to me for four solid hours on Saturday afternoon. And he wants me to, he, I wasn't going to do this today. He just said, tell them, quit being so busy. Quit trying to solve all your problems. Do the things that you must do as we talked yesterday. But spend some time with me and let me work it out with you. I'm the answer to everything. And as we started, so I st took this thing down. He's the couple things that he said to me. He said, look at this thing. He said, just like this thing sat beaten by the waves and the wind and the sun for however many years it was out there. That's what I did with you over the last 20 years. And to get this place right here, look, look at the markings on that. It's beautiful. It's soft. It's round. It, that was not soft and round. That looked like a porcupine's back and you would have pricked your finger on that thing. He says, and just like you whittled that thing away over hours to take it down, I've been cutting the parts off of you that needed to be cut off of. And I've been smoothing out the parts that needed to be smoothed. And I've been roughing up the stuff that needs to be roughed up. And I want to do this with the people on this call. I want to do it with each and every single one of them. But they're so busy being busy. And he's just saying, just shut it down. Shut it down. Now, I, we got, if you got a job, you got to go to job. But instead of flipping on the television, go hang out with him for a little while. He'll talk to you. He's saying, you're asking where I am? I'm asking, just like I said to Adam, where are you? I knew where he was. It was a rhetorical question. It was like, where are you? Where, not where are you physically? Hey, where are you at? Come back to me. Come back to me. Come back to me. This call is a good Kickstarter. This call is a good unifier. This call is a good culture setter. This call is a good educator. This call is a great inspirer to get into the spirit. This call is a great place to come and get fed. But this call cannot replace communing with the living God who put his spirit inside of you. It cannot replace that. He can't do it. He wants to hang out with you. And I read this, this you know, and so anyway, I, I'll tell you some more story. There's some, there's some markings on here. He spoke to me and another day I'll talk about that. But I'll pull this up now. We're going, yeah, I, I thought we were going to, we'll, we'll, we'll still make a declaration. And I got, I got something that I want to share a little bit later, but yeah, I just, I just felt this move through my spirit to just, just come and hang out with him. Just come and hang out with him. 
The Father says today, September 22nd, 2022. This lines all right up. The Father says today, seek first the kingdom and all things will be added. And when I say all things, I mean all. Don't seek first the solution to what you think is your biggest problem. Your biggest problem is that you're too far away from me. Now, that's not for everybody, but that's for a lot of somebodies. It's certainly true for me sometimes. The Father says today, seek first the kingdom, and all these things will be added to you. When I say all, it means all. If you seek first the kingdom, I will add the delights of your heart to your life and to your experience. <laughs> Some of you don't like what you're experiencing now. He's just given us the solution. You want to change your experience? Start speaking different words and go spend some time with him. My plan for you is so sweet and such a blessing that it borders on fantasy. I purpose to bring you into the highest heart's desire, greatest dream fulfilled as a base state for your daily living. It's who I am and it's what I do in spite of the religious misconceptions of those entrenched in unbelief. I am such a good, good father, God intent on doing good things until the full bandwidth of my goodness is the very definition of my relationship with you but we got to do our part to have that relationship. It's time for doing the ridiculous to receive the impossible. It's time for doing the ridiculous to receive the impossible. Set aside all those weak plans and anemic strategies that are simply vain attempts to figure out how I'm going to pull things off for the things that I have in store for you. Remember, quit trying to figure out how I'm going to do it. Just trust that I am. Rest in me. Simply rest in me. Make rejoicing and praise the activity that marks your day this day. Relax, says the Father. I've got this. No more low living. No more waiting for the other shoe to drop. No one, no one, nothing and no one, no devil in hell can rob you of the dividends of my unconditional, no strings attached love for you but just come and hang out with me. Come and spend some time with me. You know, I got a, I got, I got a pretty fancy computer here. I need a fancy computer for, to run all this video stuff because it takes a lot of microprocessor and RAM. I mean, maybe that you don't even know what that means. It takes a lot of horsepower to do these things. I do, you know, all kinds of stuff, green screens and recording. And there's a lot of horsepower on this thing. But if I open too many files, it grinds to a halt. And the Lord is saying to you this morning, close a few of your files. Go close the files. You want to hear my voice? Close the files. Close the files and come spend some time with me. That's what he would say to us today. No, oh, I feel that all over me. Oh, He's all over that. Lord, what it is, whatever I'm experiencing right now, God, I just, I just released that into the people on this call here. Let them feel the full weight of your presence. Oh, Father, bring it to them. Whatever their hearts are ready to receive, God, take them to the outer limit of what they're ready to receive. We're all at different places. We're all on a journey. We're all running parallel lines. You know, some of you are 30, some of us are 50, some of us are 70. Next year, some of us will be 31, 51, and 71. We're running parallel lines. We're all growing and going at the same time but we're on different places on our plane. Lord, I'm asking you today to bring each and every one of them, your precious people here, exactly the full measure of what you know that they're ready to receive from you. Father God, invade their very presence, invade their atmosphere. And Father God, by the power of your spirit, help them and cause them to shut down their files that they can come and commune with you and get fed the true manna from heaven your very presence, and the soft stillness of your spoken word into their lives. Father God, I release that in now over this call, over Facebook, over the recording that's being recorded right here, right now, God. Lord, I just ask you to do this now in the name of Jesus Christ. Wow, we praise you, Lord. We praise you, Lord. Wow, I tell you again, it's just, I, I, I really had no idea we were going to go there this morning, but it's just, I just, psh, Tell them the story about the stick, and I'm not allowed to call it a stick anymore. It was a stick. It's now a staff. It's, he transformed it just as he's transforming each and every single one of us. 
Oh my goodness, Lord, praise you, Lord, praise you, Lord, praise you, Lord. We praise you, Lord. We praise you, Lord. Yes, we do. All right, we're gonna pull up. We're gonna pull up a psalm. We're gonna stay in the psalms here. I, 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 I hope. I hope. I hope that was. I hope somebody got something from that. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. All right, we're on Psalm 108. Hang on, let me get a little sip of something here. Nah, psalm. 108. Oh, here we go. You can't make this up. A prayer for God's help. A prayer for God's help. Quit trying to figure out how I'm going to do it. Just know that I'm going to do it. Just talk to me. A prayer for God's help. A poetic psalm by King David. Oh, my heart, my heart. Oh, God, it's focused and it's determined. Is your heart focused and determined today? Oh, there's a question. Now I can sing my song with passionate praises. Awake, O oh my soul, with the music of his splendor. Arise, my soul, and sing his praises. I will awaken the dawn with my worship, getting the daybreak with my songs of light. Wherever I go, I will thank you. All the nations will hear my praise and my songs to you. Your love is so extravagant. It reaches higher than the heavens. Your faithfulness, oh, it's so astonishing. It stretches to the skies. Lord, be exalted as you soar throughout the heavens. May your shining glory be seen high above all the earth. Oh, come to your beloved ones and gently draw us out. Answer our prayer for your saving help. Come with your might and your strength, for we need you, Lord. Oh, we need you, Lord. Then I heard the Lord speak in his holy splendor. And from his sanctuary, I heard the Lord promise. In my triumph, I will be the one to measure out the portion of my inheritance to my people. And I will secure the land as I promised you. Shechem, Succoth, Gilead, Manasseh, they are all still mine, says God. Judah will continue to produce kings and log givers, and Ephraim will produce great warriors. Moab will become my lowly servant. Edom will likewise serve my purposes. I will lift up a shout of victory over the land of Philistia. But those who sing but who, but who will bring my triumph into Edom's fortress? Lord, have you really rejected us, refusing to fight our battles? Give us a father's help when we face our enemies. For to trust in any other man is just an empty hope. With God's help, we will prevail. We, with might and power and with God's help, we will trample down every single foe. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, this morning that this is all coming to pass. All right. Well, let's uh, let's let's lift up our nation. Let's lift up our nations. All right. We'll put on the armor of God. We'll lift up our nations. We'll make a we'll make a couple of decrees here. And then I want to share something with you uh, about the Feast of Trumpets, because I, you know, I, I don't understand the Jewish festivals. But, you know, he's put me here in front of a camera. He says, just go search it out. Go search it out. So I did. All right. So. <laughs> so I did. And that doesn't mean that I'm an expert in it, but I'll bring you some things. Some of you will know more than me. Some of you will know less than me. Together, we're going to learn something. Father God, today, we, God, we just thank you. This is your day. You made it. We are glad and we rejoice in it. Oh, Father, we call out to you, just as we read in the Psalms, that it is you who will bring us to victory. It is you who brings us to salvation. It is you who holds us victorious in your strong right hand. This day you made it, Lord. We rejoice. We are glad. And we call out to you. Save us, Lord. Save us, Lord. Save us, Lord. We beseech you. Beseech. You know what that means? We seek him out. Seek first the kingdom of God, and all these things will be added to you. Let's bring this scripture to life. Lord, we're looking for you, and we're here. We're shutting down the files and we're giving you 100% of ourselves, not 90% of ourselves, not 80% of ourselves. Lord, we're giving you 100% of ourselves. We beseech you, Lord. Come now, cause us to prosper. Thank you, Father. You said, therefore, put on the full armor of God so when the day of evil comes, you'll be able to stand your ground. We're about to watch evil take a mighty fall, and it's going to recoil as it goes. Get ready. Put on your seatbelt. This ain't going to be pretty, but it is going to be victorious. So you'll be able to stand your ground, and after you've done everything, you'll still be standing. Stand firm then with the belt of truth buckled around your waist and with the breastplate of righteousness in place, and with your feet fitted with the readiness that comes from the gospel of peace. In addition to all of this, take up your shield of faith. Oh, that extinguishes all the flaming arrows of the evil one <laughs> take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit which is the word of god and pray in the spirit on all occasions with all kinds of prayers and requests and with this in mind 
stay alert and keep on praying for all the saints. We pray for each other, Lord. God, we pray to you. We pray for ourselves and we pray for each other this morning. We lift us up, your corporate body. We come before you in one accord, Lord. And we thank you, Father God, that you have fully outfitted us with the full armor this morning. Today, we put on the Teflon. Today, we put on the stainless steel. Thank you, Lord. You have given us an upgrade of armor. <clears throat> You've given us impenetrable stainless steel that it will not stick and it will not come near us heavenly father today we put on the full armor to guard our lives against every single attack we put on your belt of truth that protects us against all the lies and all the deception and father god will along with that belt of truth i'm asking for an extra double measure of wisdom and discernment we put on the breastplate of righteousness to protect our hearts from the temptations that we battle we put on the gospel of peace upon our feet so we're ready to shatter chaos and take your light wherever you send us today we choose to walk in faith in the peace and the freedom of your spirit and not be overcome with fear or anxious thoughts. We put them down. We cast them down. We will not allow them to remain. Get out. Fear and anxious thoughts be gone. You are hereby shattered and banished in the name of Jesus Christ. We take up your shield of faith that extinguishes all the darts, all the threats hurled our way by the enemy. And God, we believe in your power to protect us and we choose to trust in you. We put on the helmet of salvation, which covers our minds and our thoughts, reminding us that we are your children. We are forgiven. We are set free. We are saved by the grace of Jesus Christ. We take up your sword of the spirit, your very word, the offensive weapon you've given to us for battle, which has the power to demolish strongholds, Lord, because it's alive, because it's active, and because it's sharper than any two-edged sword. We will wave our swords yet again today. Thank you, Lord, that we never fight alone. It is you who are constantly at work on our behalf. You shield us, you protect us, you strengthen us, exposing every deed of darkness and bringing to light all those things that need to be known. Father God, we thank you this morning that you cover us from every single cruel attack, even the ones that we haven't seen. Oh, you want evidence that I'm moving in your life? Just think about what the attack would have liked if I weren't there. Oh, we thank you, Lord, in the powerful name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father God. Thank you, Lord. And today, Father, we lift up our nations. God, we lift them up and we take this declaration, this song, this anthem written for Canada, and we apply it just as we apply the blood of the Lamb over our land, just as we apply the blood of the Lamb over this nations, over America and Canada. Father God, we proclaim and we apply these lyrics over our nations, the Republic of America, the Dominion of Canada. And today we say, oh, Canada, oh, America, you are our home and native lands. They belong to us. And I thank you, Father God, that the mighty, those that would call themselves mighty in this hour, they are falling and they're about to understand what true dominion means. Father God, we thank you. Oh, Canada, oh, America, our home and native land, true patriot love in all thy sons command with glowing hearts. We see our nations rise. Oh, the true North and America, the beautiful, the Republic of America, strong and free from far and wide. Oh, Canada, from far and wide. Oh, America, we stand on guard for thee. We, the people of God, will not retreat. Oh, God, we call out this morning, ruler supreme, you hear our humble prayer. Hold our dominion in your loving care. God, we thank you, oh God, that we can find in you that lasting rich reward as we wait upon the better day we ever stand on guard. And I thank you, Lord, that we just approach the dominoes are falling, says the Lord today, and you are about to see an acceleration of the cascading of the falling of the dominoes. Oh, put on your seatbelts, the greatest show on earth. It is now here. Oh, Canada. Oh, America. We stand on guard for thee. Oh, Canada. Oh, America. We stand on guard for thee. Thank you, Lord, for the privilege of standing on guard with you. You are our God, and we are your people. And today we make... Today, on the 22nd day of September, in the year of 22, 22, 22, we make these 22 declarations over Canada and the America today. Father God, we declare and declare in the name of Jesus Christ that God, you reign as king over Canada and America. We decree and declare that Canada and America shall always be truly free nations. We decree and declare that your justice rules in our nations and we shall be at peace. 
<clears throat> Father God, we decree and declare that you, King Jesus, will execute judgment and righteousness throughout our lands. Father, we decree and declare that Canadians and Americans be at one with one another, just as you, Jesus, and the Father are one. In the name of Christ Jesus, we decree and declare the unity of Canadians. Command your blessing, God. We decree and declare Canada's prodigals and America's prodigals are returning and families are being restored. The scourge against marriage, we break it now and it removes the curse upon our land. Father God, we decree and declare that the Lord is restoring what the locust has eaten and never again will his people be disgraced. Father, we decree and declare in the name of Christ Jesus, the thief has been caught and he now must repay sevenfold everything he's stolen. We decree and declare in the name of Jesus Christ that the businesses of Canada and America thrive, and we are the lenders to many. We shall never borrow again. We decree and declare that we have everything we need because the Lord is our shepherd, and we shall not want. We lack for nothing. You said decree a thing, and it's established. You said call forth that which is not and establish it. Lord, we call it forth now. We decree and declare that Canada and America have bright hopes for prosperous futures futures. We decree and declare the people of Canada and America shall not be afraid because Lord God, you walk with us. We call forth your promise today on that. <clears throat> We decree and declare that Canada will export healing to the nations. We decree and declare that America will take the gospel around the earth. We decree and declare that Canadians and Americans go forth in joy and be led forth in peace. We decree and declare in Jesus' name, Canada, America, and the whole world be filled with the knowledge of the glory of the Lord, just as the waters cover the sea. We decree and declare God's kingdom is coming. God's your kingdom. Your will is being done in this earth exactly as you would have it done in heaven. Heaven. We decree and declare in the name of Christ Jesus that the Lord is Canada and America's strong refuge. When trouble comes, we decree and declare that God has armed us with strength for the battle and has subdued our enemies. And you told me this morning that Malachi 4 comes into effect this very day. We decree and declare that nothing can separate the people of Canada from your great love, God. We decree and declare in the name of Jesus Christ, you are working all things together for our good because we are called according to your purposes and because we love you. We love you. We love you. We put that into the atmosphere and nobody can take it down. Oh, we decree and declare in the name of Jesus Christ, the Lord has made our nations great. He has extended our borders and he's giving all and we're giving all the glory back to him. It's all you, Lord. It's all you, Lord. It's all you, Lord. Thank you, Father God. In this day, on this 22nd, in the year of 22, the double portion of a double portion and yet another double portion. Father God, these numbers mean so much more. But Father God, today, right here, right now, we call forth the fullness of your promise. And as we come up to the eve of Rosh Hashanah or Yom Torah, Lord, today we call it forth the Feast of the Trumpets. Let the sound of your victory resound across our earth in the name of Jesus Christ. Wow, I feel that one. Wow. Wow. Yes, Lord. Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah. His presence is so strong in here this morning. Oh, my goodness. <clears throat> wow, hang on a second here. Mm. Wow, thank you, Lord. Well, Lord, Lord, again this morning, we just come before you, and we reassert Jesus Christ. You are our king. We reassert your dominion over the dominion of Canada. We reassert your dominion over the Republic of America. I'm going to pause for a second here. It, it, now's the time to do this. You can't hear me? Uh, okay, hang on. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Can you hear me? Yeah. Yeah, I, uh, so far was too loud. I, you know, it's, I, there's trip wires in here so that I can't blow up the microphone. So if it gets too loud, it, it shuts itself down. That's that's what's kind of going on here. I get a little. Michaela says, you're getting, you know, you're loud. You've always been loud, man. You're just getting louder. You're getting louder. I said, I can't help it. I just can't help it. She goes, you're so, I'm standing right here. I said, I know, but I can't help it. <laughs> it's kind of become a joke that she doesn't find so funny anymore. It's kind of <laughs> I'm going to pull up a screen share. I want to show you something. I want to encourage you with something. 
You're going to want to write this down. <clears throat> you want to go to rumble.com. Find the channel called And We Know. And watch yesterday's broadcast. I put it into the Telegram yesterday. It is, you want, and, and the title of my Telegram post, I don't post much in there. I watch what's going on. I don't say a whole lot. I say what I say here. I don't say a lot on Telegram. <clears throat> but the title of yesterday's post was, you want proof that we've won? Watch this and keep declaring victory. You're going to want to watch. It's a full hour. Watch it. Turn off American Idol. Turn off the voice. Turn off, for God's sakes, turn off the news and the prophets of Baal and go watch what's really going on. I'm going to pull this up. I'm going to give you a little piece of encouragement now. <clears throat> screen so i just take the entire screen and then i go looking for my internet and i i think i pulled this thing up hang on a second i need to move this out of the way is it here is it here is it here uh what am i doing <laughs> oh you know what hang on a second <laughs> i opened it and it shut I, I i can't easily find it let me just try something new here. You can probably see my, I think you can see, oh, there you are. I can see you guys there. So you're on my screen. So just let me see if I can find, if I can't find it, I'll just have you go watch that thing. But I, I, I just, I, I thought I hope it was, it was at the top of my feed, but you know, every time you log in, something new goes to the top of the feed. So let me just see what happens here. Open. Okay. Three, two, one. It's yeah, it's not here anymore. It's yeah, everything, everything, everything moved. I don't, I don't need to see pictures of tomatoes right now. All right, let me describe it to you. And I'll just turn off the screen share. I got to go back to Zoom and stop share. So for the last four years, five years, six years, every time Trump makes a speech, there's a great big giant American flag behind him. At a rally yesterday. He had an American flag behind him with all the stars removed. There were no stars on the flag. There were stripes, and there was a blue patchwork with no stars. So I'm going to paraphrase this, and here's what that means. Military analysts came onto this show and said what that means. It is a military sign when the military has taken over, and to all the treasonous ones who have infiltrated a government— or when, when they're in the midst of battle, when the stars have been removed from the flag and that flag moves at the discretion of only the commander in chief. Okay, now you got to catch this language. Only the commander in chief has the authority to fly that flag. When that flag goes up, the enemy has 60 minutes to surrender or it's full on war and they're taking you out. And at a six, all for the last five years, Trump has done every single speech with a full American flag, stars and stripes behind him. Yesterday's speech was an American flag without the stars. He spoke for exactly 60 minutes, which is the amount of time when that flag goes up, you got 60 minutes to surrender or we're taking you out. And yesterday he made a speech with that flag hanging behind him for 60 minutes. And then he got off the stage. You tell me whether there's any symbolism in that. You go watch that broad, and there's so much more. It's, it just goes through everything. You just see victory after victory. So, I, you know, listen, I don't often send you off to alternative channels. Go watch that. Go spend an hour and be greatly encouraged. It is moving. Virginia now has also reversed all the transgender thing. They're saying, no, boys get their boys' bathroom and girls get their girls' bathroom and no more of this trans nonsense. And they've instructed the schools to cease and desist by the end of October. Folks, it's happening. We have won this war, and day by day, we are getting more evidence of it. We've won. And the Lord said to me, you know, in January, he said, you broke this. In February, he said, you broke that. 
Two weeks ago, he came into this room and he said, you've won the war. Just keep marching it out. The war has been won. You broke it. You're free. Just keep marching. And then yesterday, that broadcast goes off and shows all the things that are being reversed in this hour. I don't know what's going to happen on Sunday. I don't know what's going to happen on the 25th, but I know it's going to usher in a brand new era. And as Mike and Carmen drove that spike into, into Cape Spear, just as the sun was rising, the day before the storm was raging, that day on the Atlantic Ocean in the North Atlantic, the sea was almost calm and the sun rose up. It was predicted to be a rainstorm, no sun, nothing but cloud, and the sun broke through and it was a glorious day and the Lord said, this is my sign to you. A new day has dawned on your land. And it's no coincidence that he was there at the easternmost point of all of North America, the very first place on this continent that includes our American brothers, our American sisters, our Canadian friends, brothers, sisters, and family members, everybody down in the Caribbean Sea, everybody down in Mexico, the very first place that sees the first breakthrough of the ray of light is right there at Cape Spear. You cannot get any further east on this North American continent than that very place place itself and at that place on a day predicted for storm the sun came through the water went calm and the lord said i have stilled the storm and your new day is here go to point peely and usher it in with the feast of trumpets and we will blow those trumpets on sunday and we will broadcast that and it will be on zoom and i thank you father god right here right now that you have answered our prayers we have dug in we've pressed in we've decreed we've declared for almost 16 months now oh my goodness lord 15 and three quarter months every day, not missing a day. We are on the cusp of moving into month 16. Thank you, Father God, for calling us, your people, at a time such as this to stand on your word, to stand on your promise. And you have said over and over and over again, trick trying to figure out how I'm going to do it. You just speak my word and trust that I will. Quit trying to figure out how I'm going to do it. Oh, I'm going to do it. And I'm not going to telegraph it. I'm not telling my prophets. I'm not telling my patriots. I'm I'm not telling my freedom fighters. I'm not telling any of you. I'm about to do a new thing because I will not allow the enemy to even get a whiff of what I'm up to. Yes, it's true. I will never do a thing without first revealing it to my province, but I don't give them all of it. This one gets a piece of the jigsaw puzzle. That one gets another piece. And then I turn around and I do something that blows everybody's mind. This is me. This is your God. I am the creator of heaven and earth. I am the creator of the entire universe and I am restoring your land in this very hour i am giving it back to you because you have risen up because you've spoken because you believed because you had faith because you praised me because you turned from your wicked ways because you repented and because you called to me i heard you and i have answered you oh says the lord wow <laughs> oh my Oh, oh my goodness, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Oh, thank you, Lord. 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 Now unburden yourselves and walk into your promised land. Unburden yourselves and walk into your promised land. Do not bring yesterday's baggage, hurts, and hang-ups with you. Do not pollute the land that I'm giving you with yesterday's garbage. Come into a new land flowing with milk and honey, fresh opportunity, and watch the spirit of me roll over you and bring you into a brand new place. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father God. Thank you, Lord. Oh, my goodness. 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 Wow, 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 wow. I tell you, I'm still not comfortable. I, this stuff starts coming out of me. It's like, am I... Is this me or is, I'm still working this whole thing out? He and me are talking in a different kind of way now. Lord, I never want to open my mouth and speak something that you haven't spoken. Lord, I never want to open my mouth and speak something that you have not authorized me to say. I am so careful with this. Oh, my goodness. Wow. This is a holy moment. He's doing something. 
Lord, roll your presence through this place. Bring it thicker. Bring it fatter. Roll your Shekinah down. Envelop us in your kavod. Just bring it, Lord. We want all of you. We don't want a king. We want you. And we'll call you king because that's the only earthly name we have for it. I don't want a president. I don't want a prime minister. I don't want a cabinet. We want you. We want you. And I thank you, Lord, right here, right now. I'm just going to declare it. In the name of Jesus Christ, every political structure that underpins our political parties, tear them to the ground. Raise them to the ground. Open the eyes of the sleeping people to understand the illusion of choice and selection that comes with the very nature of battles to elect kings of a party so that the kings of the parties can go to war. No more! No more! No more! Father, we want you. We want and we call forth godly governance upon our nation of Canada, godly governance upon the Republic of America, and godly governance upon the countries and the nations of this earth. We call you forth. Come now and raise up your ecclesia, those that you've put your hand upon, those that you've been working on, those that you have raised up to be your reigning and ruling church. And I thank you for shattering and breaking the lie of the separation of church and state. This was never your plan. Your plan was always those anointed by you would bring good, godly, just governance upon our earth. And we call forth godly, just governance. Father, I don't want a preacher in the White House and I don't want one in our parliament. But God, we want those who will rule with fairness, judiciousness, justice, righteousness, and truthfulness. We call that forth now in the name of Jesus Christ. Those who will execute your law in our earth. I thank you, Lord. We call forth the fullness of your promise now. We, the people of God, we call out to you. We've decreed, we've declared, we've praised, we've cried, we've laughed, we've pained. Oh, we've burst out in joy. We've done all of it, Lord. And now we're asking you, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. You bring your presence on this earth, and that evil can no longer stand. You bring your presence into each and every one of us, and none of us will stand for the evil. And I thank you, Lord, that if you do these two things, the rest of it will just fall into line. Thank you, Father God, that your grace, your mercy, your very presence envelop each and every single one of us. Your grace, your presence, your mercy, your spirit come and envelop our nations, Lord. And we call forth godly governance now. And those that have desecrated our lands, God, we call for the great fall of them now. Pull down the great red dragon. Pull down that blue serpent. Leviathan, I speak to you now. I rebuke, I bind you, and the Lord rebukes you. Get out. Get out. Get out. The seed of the woman now crushes your head in the name of Jesus Christ. You're finished. Get out. You may not even slither away. We chop you and send you back in pieces now. Wow. And I thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, that it's all coming to pass. I mean, I can't tell you how many, how many serpent dreams I've had in the last two years. Oh, big ones. Federal Reserve, Bank of International. I've seen them. I've just seen that thing slithering around. It's finished. It's all coming down. Get some cash in your bank accounts. Get some cash in your bank accounts. If you've got some money in your bank, get some money out of the bank and just have some cash sitting around. You're going to want some cash. I don't know what's going on. I don't know what's going to happen. Algorithms are about to blow up. Stock markets are about to go stupid. I just, I, I don't, I don't, you know, we heard last week that, you know, here in Canada, one of the bank machines, they were offering US dollars out of a Canadian ATM machine. That's like, that's never happened. Okay. What do they do? They're trying to get rid of this stuff. They're unloading it wherever they can unload it. This whole thing is coming down and they know it. And Trump flow the flag. 
the commander in chief is sitting back. The anointed commander in chief is sitting. He's never left. He's always been there. The greatest sting operation that this earth has ever seen. He needed them to steal that election so they could get them all for treason. And we call forth the punishment for treason now in the name of Jesus Christ. You have come against the people of God. You have come against God himself. You have come against the spirit of the living God and you have come against the people of this earth and you shall be held accountable in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh my goodness. I don't know what's about to bust loose folks, but, the, but fireworks are about to go off. Fireworks are about to go off. Why? Because we, we and the others, God's people have pressed in, have prayed, have repented. We've done everything he's asked us to do. And he's saying, just keep pressing, just keep praying, just keep praising, just keep trusting and watch me finish it now. When Jesus hung on that tree and he said, it's finished, he meant it. And he was talking about our healing. He was talking about your healing. He was talking about your salvation. He was talking about grace. He was talking about removing the curse of every accusation that's ever been spoken over you and about you and to you but he was also talking about the scourge of evil upon this earth and when he said it's finished he meant it's finished and so lord we just call that forth today wow 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 oh rejoice smile smile it feels like a heavy word but it's a day of joy it's a day of great joy he is proclaiming his freedom upon us oh oh, oh get ready we ain't seen nothing yet folks we haven't seen anything yet Oh, Lord, we love you, Father God, and I just thank you that every word of yours is true. Father, we're going to make these, we're just going to make this declaration now. King Jesus, we, your Ecclesia, empowered by your Holy Spirit, we come before you in this place of unity. We come in one accord, and we stand against every desecration of our nations. We, de we decree and declare that every desecration that's been enshrined in our nation, it must crumble and fall. And those who made these desecrations, we declare you have set yourself up against the Lord of heaven himself. We decree, it is written, mene, mene, tekel, Perez. God has numbered your day and it is finished. Oh, you told us declare victory this morning, Lord. We declare your victory, 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 victory. We have won and Satan, you have lost. It is over, pal. It is over. Get out in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh God, you've known God's number of the days of your kingdom. It is finished. He's weighed you in the balances and you've been found wanting your kingdom. These are seven mountains, religion, family, education, government, media, arts and entertainment and business that you've infiltrated and polluted. We call them back now, fully cleansed by the blood of Jesus Christ, a holy mountain of spirituality, a holy mountain of family, a holy mountain of education, a holy mountain of government, the holy mountain of media, the holy mountain of arts and entertainment, and the holy mountain of business and economy. We call it back now, fully cleansed, given back into the hands of your ecclesia. Father God, we call back right here, right now. We dispatch the host in the angelic realm to execute on these decrees. Those who've desecrated our land, your day of reckoning is here. It's time for you to settle accounts. Do it now. We decree and declare that those who've desecrated our covenants with God, you must go. Be now removed. Oh, we decree and declare that those who call good evil and evil good, get out. You must go. We won't tolerate you. You cannot rule over us. We, God's people, have spoken. Be removed in the name of Christ. We decree and declare that every single one of you who compete with God, disregarding his word, claiming your ways are better, get out. You must go. You're utterly and completely failed. We, You are recognized as frauds, and you are in this hour being replaced by those who honor God, those who desecrated what is holy. You must go. Get out. We forbid you to have any rule over us. We decree that those who distort the identity of who God is, get out. You must go now. We forbid you to rule over us, and you will be replaced by God's chosen ones. Your power has been crushed those who distort the identity of we god's people oh and our the very nature of gender itself god we declare that they must go we forbid you to reign to rule to teach or to influence us your influence over us is hereby dissolved and decimated we decree and declare those who polluted our nations with the doctrines of Baal. You are cursed. You are damned. You are condemned. Your day of judgment is here. You're thrown out. You shall be detested and replaced. 
we decree and declare those weighed in God's scales and found wanting. You must go. The kingdom of heaven is against you. The angels of heaven against you. We, the people of God, are against you. We forbid you to conduct any business amongst us. Your power, your authority, your influence is hereby decimated. We decree that everything that's been stolen from God's house and God's people, it must be returned now. Recompense hosts, we call you forth to bring it back now in the name of Jesus Christ. We decree the thief has been caught. He must now repay sevenfold everything he's stolen to the point of his own bankruptcy huh. thank you lord we decree and declare that anyone god says does not measure up we forbid your rule in any of our seven mountains we decree and declare that god is snatching power from Baal's leaders and giving it to the ones to whom he chooses we decree and declare in christ's name that those who toasted celebrated worship Baal in our governments bureaucracies our cities our schools or any other system of our society over our nations now see the writing on the wall and we the people of god by the power of the spirit of the most high we decree enough is enough is enough is enough we will not tolerate it anymore god himself is interrupting your party and throwing you out we decree and declare the dominoes are falling the remaining bricks on the wall have crumbled incriminating files are being found and exposed christ himself has started an avalanche panic and despair have set in and the enemy is destroying and turning on and destroying themselves and father god we call forth the greatest move of whistleblowers from the inside bring them out now lord let the light shine into the darkness where the darkness can never overtake it Oh, thank you, Lord. We decree and declare in Canada and America, in the very cities we find ourselves today, uh, to our, we're returning to our covenant roots, and we are producing truth, righteousness, and godly governance that exalts our nations high again. We decree and declare that Canada and America are being saved from the very place where we find ourselves right here, right now, from this city, this town, this municipality, outward, in Jesus' name. And God, we decree and declare that you have appointed sons and daughters, you have handpicked, you've raised up, who stand for your agenda across our nation, locally, regionally, nationally, in the school boards, in the court systems, Father God, and in our national governments. I call them government. I won't even call it federal anymore. That is a corporate name, and we will not even recognize the corporate structure any longer. Father, we call them forth now to displace evil in every structure of our society, to open their mouths and roar with the Lion of Judah and do what they know they must do in this hour. God, put have the cause by your spirit for them to put down the fear of man and rise up in the fear of the Lord to speak their truth and act with justice and enter the temple of God, which is our dominion of Canada and the Republic of America. Together we stand, the United Kingdom of America, under the kingship of Jesus Christ. And Father God, today we call it forth and ask you to make it so, make it so, make it so. Oh, we praise you, God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. King Jesus, you are our king, and today we again declare yours is the victory. You are the host of heaven's armies, Gabriel, Michael, and all the hosts. We call you forth now. Bring this to pass. God's people, the ecclesia, have spoken, and we're asking for the full execution of this now in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Your will be done. Your kingdom come right here in this earth we call it forth now in the name of jesus christ so be it wow thank you lord thank you lord wow thank you lord thank you lord wow that was another powerful morning another powerful morning all right i'm going to keep rolling with i'm going to make a couple announcements and then i'm going to roll into i want to talk about the feast of trumpets because we're going to be making that broadcast we should understand what we're doing we need to understand what we're doing and why we're doing it and what the significance of it is that doesn't mean i'm going to hit everything and i know i'm going to get a bunch of emails correcting me on this and correcting me on that listen all i care about is right now that you get the gist of this so you understand what we're doing that you understand this and i welcome the emails like i, I want to learn i'm not i'm not saying don't send them i'm just saying i'm just saying listen i'm not trying i'm not trying to be 100 you know i i am not a teacher of the torah i am a i'm a spirit-filled admiral i'm a spirit-filled commander i uh, i've been called out to lead an army i've not been called out to be a biblical scholar okay that's not my role but i need to understand what i'm dealing with and I, my job is to help you understand what we're dealing with and we like hopefully hopefully i've done a decent job of that over these months and so father god this morning we just lord just take these now i'm going to take these scriptures and I'm going to take these teachings now and god i'm going to release this and father god just get, get it deep inside of us what we are doing you are our God. We are your people. You said the nation of Israel, the Jews, they are your people. 
You've never taken them back. Jesus, you came to graft us in. And Father, we honor your feasts. We honor the festivals that you set before us. And I thank you, Lord, for causing us to understand what we're doing and why we're doing it. So I'm going to read. I, I, I actually bought a book on the feasts because I wanted to understand them. So I've been reading that. And, uh, you know, for those of you running where the next decree is, well, some days I'm carving sticks and some days I'm reading books, you know, so that's where the, that's where the next decree is. <laughs> and as soon as he wants a new decree, he'll give us one. Okay. So that's, I know some of you are wondering that, so I might as well just address it. Okay. He's, he's, he's got me reading stuff. He's got me going deep with him. I can't do this every morning if I don't go spend some time with him and go deep. He'd rather have me go deep with him than pound out some paragraphs on a piece of paper. Okay. That's just, just uh, and, and, and by the way, he'd, he'd rather have you do the same thing too. <laughs> so, all right. So Lord, 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 Lord. Okay, here we are. So I'm going to pull first. I'm going I'm to come at it from two angles. I'm going to come at it and I just, let me just make sure that I've got this page opened because hang on a sec. I just need to check a few things to make sure I've got it the way I need it so that I can, is this, it? there it is. Okay. I have it. I chalked everything up, but sometimes everything closes when I start banging things around. All right. Uh, and now I need to, yeah. There's the light's starting to come in. I can't even read the screen now. So just give me a second here. <laughs> All right. So the Feast of Trumpets or New Year, also known as Yom HaTorah or Rosh Hashanah. And so I've got some emails that there is some distinction between these things. Just, just take what I'm giving you now. And, 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 there, and, and there is. And I'm going to come back and we're going to dissect it from another angle. All right. So the Feast of Trumpets, which is, you know, uh, Yom HaTorah otherwise known as Rosh Hashanah. So the Feast of Trumpets is the beginning of the new civil new year. Ten days of repentance with Rosh Hashanah on the first day of Yom Kippur and, uh, and Yom Kippur on the last day make up the high holy days. Jewish tradition says that God writes every person's words, deeds, and thoughts in the book of life, which he opens and examines on this day. If good deeds outnumber sinful ones, for the year, that person's name will be inscribed in the book for yet another year. Now, remember, tradition. I'm not talking. This is not scriptural. This is this is their tradition. This is tradition. We're going to address the scriptural thing in Jesus Christ in just a minute. So don't get ahead of me here. We're getting there. All right. Just so just follow. If good deeds out, outnumber the sinful ones for the year, that person's name will be inscribed in the book for another year on Yom Kippur. So during Rosh Hashanah and the 10 days of repentance, people can repent of their sins and do good deeds to increase their chances of being inscribed in the book of life during Rosh Hashanah. In synagogue services, the shofar or the ram's horn is blown 100 times. So I would take it's 10 days. So that'd be 10, 10. They blow it 10 times each of those days. So Yeshua, Jesus, Rosh Hashanah is sometimes referred to as the day of judgment. Jesus said that he has the authority to judge people in John 5, 24, and that the apostle Paul referred to him as the judge of the living and of the dead in 2 Timothy 4. God does have a book of life. We we'll hear about that in Revelation 21 and calls it the Lamb's book of life. The only way to have one's name inscribed in it is through faith in Jesus as the Savior from sin, and then it's permanent. Those whose names are not in the book of life will be judged and sentenced to hell. Anyone whose name was not found written in the book of life was thrown into the lake of fire. So here's a few fascinating facts. A common custom is sending cards to relatives and friends to wish them a happy, healthy, and prosperous new year. The message includes the greeting. Now, I can't, this, I, 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 uh, Lashana Tova Tikativu, which means may you be inscribed in the book of life for a good year. It is traditional to eat apples, to eat apple slices dipped in honey. The apples represent provision and the honey represents the sweetness for the coming year. Many Jewish people attend Rosh Hashanah and Yom Kippur services, even if they have not attended a, a synagogue service for the rest of the whole rest of the year. So uh, the Feast of Trumpets, you can find it. It's, re it's referenced in Numbers 29, one through six. And then uh, now we can go down. Now we can look at Yom Kippur, which is, you know, the 10th day. So 
Yom Kippur, the day of atonement. So this is 10 days later, the day the high priest makes atonement for the sin. Yom Kippur, also known as the day of atonement, is the most solemn holy day of, for the Jewish people. Yom means day and Kippur means atonement or covering. Atonement means the reconciliation of God and humankind. The reconciliation of God and humankind. This is the year. The end of the Jubilee is upon us. We've had this Jubilee year. We've been fighting. We've been warring. It's the 2020. Oh, my goodness. There's so much going on here. Ten days, which include Rosh Hashanah and Yom Kippur, are known as the days of repentance. Yom Kippur is the final day of judgment when God judges the people. The shofar, ram's horn, is blown at the end of the evening prayer service for the first time since Rosh Hashanah. In Bible times, the high priest sacrificed an animal to pay for his sins and the sins of the people. It was a time of fasting and prayer. When the high priest was finished, the atonement sacrifice, a goat, was released into the wilderness. The scapegoat carries, carried Israel's sins away, never to return. Now we come back to Jesus. Jesus, the holy of holies in the temple, was separated from the congregation by a veil from floor to ceiling. It was entered once a year on Yom Kippur when the high priest offered the blood of sacrifice of atonement on behalf of the people. When Jesus died on that cross, the thick veil was ripped from top to bottom. Christ came as high priest and entered the Holy of Holies, heaven itself, once and for all, not by the blood of goats and calves, but by his own blood. Having obtained eternal redemption, believers in Jesus accept... Oh, not, all right, my shofar is going off, and it's I got to turn this down. Just give me a second. Just give me a second. Just give me a second. All right, come on. There we go. All right, I can just turn that down. The shofar can blow through the rest of the house, but here I can hear myself. All right, believers in Jesus accept his sacrifice on the cross, the final atonement for sin, being justified freely by his grace through the redemption that is Christ Jesus. When Messiah returns, Israel will look upon him whom they pierced, and repent. On this day of repentance, Israel will be forgiven and permanently restored. So I just gonna, I, I want to bring this to you now from another angle, because I found a great article, and I'll get this posted as well, because this will be easy to find. The Appointed Times, A Sweet New Year. Rosh Hashanah literally means head of the year. It is the celebration of a new civil year. In our own secular New Year celebrations, we experience the joy of a new beginning and a chance to set new goals. While we can still do these things individually at any time, the New Year is a special event dedicated just to this. The same holds true for the appointed time of Rosh Hashanah. It occurs on the first day of the seventh month of the religious calendar, and there are two calendars, civil and religious. This usually takes place in September, October. It's a time of joy and celebration, yet it is simultaneously a time for somber reflection and repentance. I'm going to stop there for a second. On the 25th marks Yom HaTorah, or the beginning of Rosh Hashanah, a time for repentance. It goes for 10 days up until... Yom Kippur. I want you to start reflecting on this now. I don't, I don't want you to do anything. I'm going to suggest you, I'm going to, I'm going to suggest you reflect on something. Start asking God, according to the Psalms, to search your heart and reveal to you anything you need to repent of. And he'll show you anything. Just like that day he woke me up. He said, hey, get up. You need to repent of something. I said, what? What? You told me we're clean. He said, you've been walking around in judgment. I said, I have? He said, yeah. He said, don't you disapprove of how they spend money? I said, yeah, they're taking church funds and they're doing stupid things with them. That's not the purpose of a church fund. He said, well, isn't that judgment? I go, I guess, I guess it is. He says, just tell me you're sorry and we're good. I got on my face and I said, I'm sorry. He showed it to me. He revealed it to me. I was unaware of it. He'll do the same for you. I'm going to suggest that you start asking him now, Lord, what do I need to repent of? And we come into Rosh Hashanah, we come in to Sunday begins on Sunday. Just every day, get on your face for a couple minutes and just literally get on your face. You want to know how I do it? I literally, I get on my knees. I'm not into yoga. I won't get into that spiritual crap. Okay. I won't do it. Sorry. I just offended somebody, but I will not do it. Yoga is nothing more than a trick of the enemy to get us pretending that we're exercising to go into poses of Baal worship and Molech worship. It's a trick. 
And the guys that created popularism of the yoga, they're actually on film saying this was it. We needed a way to get to the Christians. We needed a way. So we called it yoga and we got everybody doing it. Cut it out. <laughs> there's other ways to stretch and there's other ways to do exercise. I, 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 I'll just stop there. All right. You can, you can go down that rabbit hole on your own. But I literally get on, I get on the floor on my knees and I put my forehead to the ground and I say, Lord, I'm sorry. Lord, I'm so sorry. Forgive me of this. And then I, whatever that this is, fill in the blank with your version of this, and he will reveal it to you. And I want to encourage you. You want to start walking in a new level of freedom? Get to a place of genuine repentance, not a casual, hey, Lord, I'm sorry. I think that and now I know why. That's why he said, Will you just come and spend some time with me? Shut the files and hang out with me. Just like Howard carved that way. I talked to him for four hours when he did nothing but hang out with me. I will do the same for you. Come and hang out to me. I will show you what you need. I will talk to you. I'll, get, I'll show you the things in the secret place you know nothing of. And I'll even show you what I need you to say sorry for so that I can pour out my fullest blessing upon you. That's, the, that's what he wants to do. He wants to pour out his fullest blessing upon you. But just figure out, he'll tell you, he'll tell you. All right, so there's my little sidebar. So we got 10 days of it. All right. It's a time of joy and celebration, yet it's simultaneously a time for somber reflection and repentance. The Feast of Trumpets. For 30 days prior to Rosh Hashanah, a ram's horn is blown to call the people to consider their deeds. This is why we've been blowing the shofar every day this month. The Feast of Trumpets. The sound of the shofar blast is called the Torah. The sound of the show so this is a shofar the sound it makes is the torah you catching this now all right the breath of god the sound of the shofar blast is called the torah this word can also be translated as shout the purpose of all this noise is to wake us up just as ephesians 5 14 tells us for this reason it says awake sleeper and arise from the dead the messiah will shine upon you during the 30-day period mentioned earlier, we blow the shofar every day and recite a short passage which calls us to awake, look deep within ourselves, turn from our futile behavior, and return to God so that he can have mercy on us. The books are opened. Another name which tells us about the nature of the holiday is the opening of the gates. This day is symbolically when the gates of heavens are opened and God judges all the people of earth. The righteous have their names written in the book of life, blessings and health for the next year, while the wicked are portioned out and judgment. Those who are neither exceptionally righteous nor wicked are, con are continued to be tried until the end of Yom Kippur, 10 days later. This idea should sound familiar and is something we should carefully consider. Rosh Hashanah should remind us of the final judgment when the books of our lives will be opened. As we see in 2 Corinthians 5.10, we must all appear before the judgment seat of Messiah so that each one may be recompensed for his deeds in the body according to what he has done, whether good or bad. Yeshua himself tells us, for the Son of Man is going to come in the glory of his Father with his angels and will then repay each man according to his deeds, Matthew 16, 27. As we all know, our salvation is not earned. However, our deeds will tell us much about the condition of our relationship with God. If any man's work, which he has built on, remains he will receive a reward if any man's work is burned up he will suffer loss but he himself will be saved yet so through the fire now little children abide in him so that when he appears we may have confidence and not shrink away from him in shame at his coming and how do we abide in him right back to where this whole call started Come and hang out with me. Close the files. Come and spend some time with me. Shut it down and spend some time with me. Where, 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 how, so how do we abide in him? I am the vine. You are the branches. He who abides in me and I in him, he bears much fruit. For apart from me, you can do nothing. If you keep my commandments, you will abide in my love, just as I have kept my father's commandments and abide in his love. So we see that Rosh Hashanah is a time for us to examine our lives and see what we can do in the next year 
to further the kingdom as well as grow closer in our personal relationship with God. I would hasten to say, I'll, I'll just, I'll go out on a limb here. I think everybody here, everybody listening to a live stream right now, everybody going to watch this recording later, everybody who's present right here in the Zoom room right now, would I be going out on a limb to say you want to go closer with God? Every single one of you, you probably want to deepen your relationship with him. This is what he's calling us to. Spend some time. Ask me to come and invade your presence. Bring my presence into yours. Ask me to reveal to you those things you're even unaware of that you just need to repent of and say sorry. Change your mind. Turn your back. For some of you, it just means quit speaking caustic words over yourself and everybody else. It could be that simple. And he'll give you the power to stop it. But spend the next couple of days asking him. And then for 10 days, just for the next 10, and this doesn't have to be a long religious ceremony. You can get on your knees for 20 seconds and just say, Lord, oh, I repent of this. I'm sorry. Forgive me. You do that for 10 solid days. That's, what, that's what's going on here. That's what we've just read. It doesn't have to be a long, drawn-out thing. But he does want you to hang out with him, and he will speak to you. So hail the king. Another tradition associated with Rosh Hashanah is the creation of Adam and Eve. Consequently, the coronation of God as king of the world. All of the other created things were not given free will, but on the sixth day of creation, God made a man, gave him the ability to choose if he wanted to serve him. And when Adam chose to do so, God's kingship over the earth was made complete. This is another reason the shofar is blown on this day to remember the coronation of the king with trumpets and the sound of the horn, the shout for joyful noise before the king. We're going we're gonna to blow that thing on Sunday, and we will commemorate the coronation of our king with the trumpets and the sounds of the horn. The king is coming. In addition to remembering the first crowning ceremony, we also look forward to the coronation of our Messiah, Yeshua. And behold, with the clouds of heaven, one like a son of man was coming, and he came to the ancient of the days and was presented before him, and to him was given dominion, glory, and a kingdom that all the peoples and nations and men of every language might serve him. His dominion is an everlasting dominion which will never pass away, and his kingdom is one which will not be destroyed. When that day comes, we will celebrate his dominion over a new earth. For behold, I create new heavens and a new earth, and the former things will not be remembered or come to mind, and nothing unclean and no one who practices abominations and lying shall ever come into it, but only those whose names are written in the Lamb's book of life. Rosh Hashanah, this Rosh Hashanah, let's make sure our names are written in the book of life. Let's make sure we are storing up treasure in heaven rather than here on earth. Go ahead and have yourself a sweet year. So there you go. I hope that helps you understand the Feast of Trumpets. I hope that helps you understand Rosh Hashanah. I hope you all have to help us understand how Rosh Hashanah is connected to, to, to Yom Kippur. It is the beginning and the end of that thing. We're going to repent. We're going to enjoy. We're going to celebrate. We're going to blow shofars, and we are going to usher in the the coronation and the coming of our king. And that's what we shall do. And we'll do that from Point Peely. Mike and Carmen will be down there. That spike will go into the, to the southernmost point of Canada as it juts into Lake Erie, looking right into the United States. And I believe it that we saw many things this year as spikes went in in, in, in Winnipeg, as the spike went in in Fort Langley. The very first spike drove in in Fort Langley. Then the next one literally went in on the border on the Pacific Ocean. That spike literally went into the point of the sea at the very border crossing of this nation and then the next one the next one where did the next one go i can't keep track of them all anymore then we then we i know we drove then we drove one one got driven in winnipeg i know that we drove a couple of them here as we staked out the lower mainland the gateway from the west across to the east then another one went then they went in they, well, the next one after that then after then after that the one they went into ottawa it went to ottawa and then it went to the border point and now they've gone right across this nation and we're going to, the final spike goes in down there in Point Pelee on Rosh Hashanah. And our nations will be connected. He's extended our borders and enlarged our territories. And that's what that scripture, I think, is saying to us today. I, you know, I, 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 I don't have a confirm. I just feel it in my spirit. That's what it means. When we call this out every day, 
Oh, the Lord has made our nations great. He's extended our borders, and we will give him all the glory. Isaiah 26, 15, Isaiah 54, 1 through 17. I believe, I believe with everything inside of me that a new world is being born. A new governance is coming in Canada and America under the kingship of Jesus Christ. We will be a dominion of Canada. You will be the Republic of America and all the corporatization and the lie and the fraud and the deception of what Washington, D.C. is as a corporate structure that was never meant to be the capital. All that is about to be revealed for the sleeping people to see it. But I believe symbolically and spiritually, as that spike goes into the ground on Sunday, on Rosh Hashanah, with the blowing of the trumpet and the taking of communion, the Lord will have extended our, he'll make our nations great, and he's extending our borders. The Canadian border extending into the U.S., the U.S. border extending into the Canadian, and our nations will never be the same again. I really believe that with everything inside of me. So let's, let's just celebrate him. We praise him. We celebrate him. We thank him and we get the nasty language out of our mouths. No more cursing people. No more getting triggered. No more talking curse. No more they did this to me. No more they did that to me. No more this is them. This is that. From here on out, we speak praiseworthy words. Yes, we call for righteousness. Yes, we call for judgment. No, we do not tolerate evil. But we speak that which we want, not what we don't want. We call forth that which is not. We want godly government. That's what we speak. And we stand down and against that now. Lord, let them be taken down to stubble just as they would in a hot burning oven. That's your word. You deal with them. I will release myself from judgment. I will not judge. I will release it into your hands, O righteous judge. Let your righteousness, let your judgment now flow like a mighty stream and let it come like a tidal wave upon our land. But Lord, we release it into your hands and we will not walk in bitterness and we will not walk in unforgiveness. Father, we call ourselves clean today. Show to us, reveal to us that which, which we must repent of. Me included, me included, Lord. Reveal it to us so we can get on our knees and walk clean with you, our King. Glory, 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 glory to you. Glory to you, God. Glory to you, God. Glory to you, God. Glory to you, God. Wow. Praise you, Lord. We praise you this day. We praise you every day, and we praise you yet again today. We'll finish as we started with a blast of the shofar, the Torah. <laughs> And I'll try not to be so loud that I blow out my sound card. <laughs> Hallelujah. All praise to the King of Kings. <laughs> All right. Well, that was another wild call today. And, uh, you know, he's doing all kinds of stuff. I never know where these calls go or where they end up, but I know he's always in them. So thank you, Lord, for being here. Thank you, Lord, for being here. We got a couple minutes if anybody, well, I got I got I do have a meeting I'm going to have to get to, but, uh, we got a couple minutes here. If anybody just wants to share something that's on their heart or a testimony, something that's praiseworthy, uh, or just something that you feel stirring in your spirit. Come, come share. Today, how it is a day of days. A day Pardon of me? days. Today is a day of days going yeah. forward. May, may Hallelujah. You. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. Howard, I just want to um, tell you what I saw just before you declared what the Lord gave you about that uh, things are changing, or that, mm -hmm. that holy time you had, and he just came out and said, hey, it's done. It's, it's, it is, it's done, and you and you just felt really thinking, oh, did I really say, just, just say that? But yeah. just before you had that, I um, had a vision that a huge train was coming at us and, and it was huge and it was coming fast. And uh, all of a sudden I look again and it's on its side, it's completely stopped in front of me. Wow. And it was like, and then you just declared that. And I'm going, yes. 
Amen. Wow. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Wow. Wow. Yeah. Thank you for sharing that. I mean, I know you're speaking through me. I know I, I it's, it, listen, this is just, this is all new, new, new territory. I mean, the, the, it's here, the freight train. And, and you know, when that spike went into the ground at the peace arch, right on the Pacific ocean at the juncture on the 49th parallel where our two nations meet at the exact moment that that spike went into a ground, a freight train ran through blowing its whistle at the exact moment the spike went in. And then when we drove the spike at the center of Canada on July 1st, at the moment the spike went into the ground, another freight train went like precisely the moment the, the, the spike was going in, the nose of the train came and intersected that spot and blew its horn. There's no intersection there. There is no reason whatsoever for a train to be blowing his horn at that place and yet at the very moment while we were making our declaration and putting the communion and driving now some of you were there many of you on that call were there that day so there's I, the, the, and the freight train i mean it means many things in the spirit one of which is the move of the holy spirit and the holy spirit has come he's invaded our land we've been asking for this for 15 some odd months now and he's answering it and you know i get out you know i you know i get i get all passionate and i just Lord, I don't ever want to misspeak you. I, I, Lord, I really never want to misspeak you. I, I, not, 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 not intentionally. I will never misspeak you intentionally. And I see these things coming out of my mouth and I hear the word and I start making these prophetic declarations and I go, <laughs> was I allowed to say that? And then he comes out, he says, no, you're right. You're, listen, it's, it's just keep going. 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 So I thank you. Thank you, LJ. It's a new day. It's happened. It's here. You haven't seen the full evidence of it yet. I haven't seen the full evidence of it yet. But man, he is moving. And yesterday, yesterday, Trump making that speech on an American flag with no stars and what it means militarily to fly that flag that only the commander in chief has the discretion to fly. I'm telling you, folks, none of this is coincidence and you can't make this stuff up. Wow. Praise him. Howard, Amazing. could you just <clears throat> could you just put that uh, address, uh, the URL of that uh, the the writing for the sweet new year? I've read it, but I can't find it now. Again, could you add it somewhere? Yeah. So that's uh, yes. I yes I can, and yes I will, and I will Thank be you. making a permanent. I'll be making a permanent library of these things so we can go back and find them. So because if you put them in Telegram, you know by the end of the day they're buried sixteen chats up. So that's part of what this. That's part of what I'll be what I'll what I'll be working on is creating a place a receptacle where we can go back and get these resources and easily find them. Thank so you. yes, yes, yes. But uh, today I, I just I'll just post it in Telegram for now, and I'll make it permanent somewhere else later. Thanks. Hey, Howard, you were, you were talking about the trains, and I don't want to lose when we were driving back to the center of Canada last week, watching that train literally go backwards right there on the Trans-Canada Highway, you know, that's uh, on the Trans-Canada train uh, railway, to see a train literally going fully backwards with the caboose leading, I felt was profound in the midst of the other things you were just announcing about the trains and that other word that just came. There is such an incredible... The yeah, incredible events, such a powerful time. And I, you know, you were going on about uh, Point Peely, and I'm like, saying to Carmen, boy, I'm excited to be there. Uh, you know, I just, <laughs> you know, I get to participate in something that is just so profound. And I love how you put all of it. I, I, yeah, it's, it's going to be profound at the highest yeah. level for sure. Amen. Amen. Well, we're excited that you're there doing it. You know, he's given me my assignment. He's given you your assignment. He's given everybody on this call their assignment. We're all just, we're all parts in God's mosaic. And we're just grateful that you answered the call and you're doing this and that we get to come out and play with you, man. <laughs> just, all right. God bless you. We just as we were starting the call, a train whistle blew here coming through Chatham. Normally they never blow it in town limits. But just as we were starting the call, train whistle blew. Jeanette and I looked wow. at each other and, okay, <laughs> now it's all coming to, you know, it's all coming, you know, into place now. And we're seeing, I think, Hallelujah. God's message to us really is being clear. It's clear as a whistle. Yeah. Hallelujah. 
It is clear as a whistle. Well, we haven't seen anything yet. I'm telling I, I we've been saying it that by the time we get to Christmas, Canada and America will not look like they did a year ago. And we've already seen great transformation. Now, we haven't seen Trudeau fall. We haven't seen Biden fall. We haven't seen Obama fall. We haven't seen Clinton fall. We haven't seen all that yet. Yet, yet, yet. Yet, I believe in the spirit, the judgments have been rendered, and we will see it play out in the physical, in our physical earth plane very shortly. We have different looking nations come the 1st of January next year. And I believe, I believe something, something magnificent. I, the Lord is just lining everything up. I believe something is going to be revealed to the people of this earth on the 25th. I don't know what it is. I don't know how he's going to do it, but I'm watching all the things that are going on. I'm connecting dots and God is about to God. There's a, there's a big reveal about to go down and the sleeping people cannot deny it or sleep any further. And those of us been pressing in, we're about to be affirmed. I really believe that with everything inside of me. All right. Yeah. Yeah. We've done a mighty thing. We've done a mighty work here. I mean, he's, he's called us out and he's, we've battled every day. We've done this. We've, we've covered a lot of ground and we're not done. We're far from done. We're far from done. You know, at the end of world war two, then they had to bring in the, re the, the, the reconstruction and rebuild everything. Today, I appoint you over nations and kingdoms to uproot, tear down, to destroy, overthrow, and to build and to replant. Oh folks. Oh folks. We're going to see the tear down of the desecration. And then he's going to call us to come and build and replant. And I've spoken that before. Our job is not over. It's just getting started. <laughs> mm. Amen. Amen. All well, right. I just want to, I want to praise the Lord for uh, giving me the perseverance to go through all that, all those instructions to set up fast trader. I got the uh, email yesterday afternoon. I'm actively trading. So praise the Lord, even though my internet went down right after that. Mm. So you know, these you uh, technical snafus, the Lord has control of them. God bless you, Howard. Yeah. Thank you for your help with that last step. You're welcome. You're welcome. All Amen. right. Well, God bless you. Yeah, it is a gift. I believe it's a gift from God. There's been a lot of warfare over it. There's been a lot of warfare over it. And you know, if there's warfare, you're over the target. That's, that's all I can say about it. <laughs> you want to know where the last decree was? It was in two weeks of doing all of that. <laughs> I'm telling you, uh, there, there's a lot going on. It, it, this is not just a daily Zoom call. There's a lot of moving parts going on here. This is, uh, but this is a mighty thing we're doing here. This is the foundation. I mean, we, we're even talking now, you know, the establishment now of the Declaration Church itself. This is going to be a key pillar of that whole thing because this is where we set culture. This is where we set expectation. This is where we get our marching orders. And then we got to carry it. Then there's going to have to be some fellowship. There's going to be things like this where we can strengthen each other, iron sharpening iron, all the rest of that. So there's a, there's there's a lot unfolding here. This is yeah this is this this is a full blown ministry. He's called he's you know he's basically he basically said, put down your put down your work. Don't take any more contracts. You're out of that. I've moved you out of that. You're going to use everything you learned in your corporate existence over the last 30, 40 years. You're going to use all of that now. You're going to use all of that now to build this. And and so this is this is this is not just a, this, to me anyway. This is not just a daily Zoom call. This is a full blown, fully birthed ministry, and it is now coming into its own. Uh, he just, you know, but he, she showed it to us piece by piece. Just you start declaring. It started with a 12 minute decree every day, 12 minutes, 12 minutes, 12 minutes, 12 minutes, 12 minutes, 12 minutes. Even when people didn't show up, I showed up and then people started showing up. Okay. Then it, then it was 12 minutes and it was 15. Then it was 20. And now what is it? Some of you have been in here for two, three hours already. It's an amazing thing. It's an amazing thing. It's an amazing thing. And we just praise you, Lord. We just praise you, God. We praise you, God. You're doing a great and mighty thing in our lives. You're doing a great and mighty thing in our nations. You're doing a might and greaty thing on this earth. And we just call it forth now. Your kingdom, your kingdom come. Your will be done. We want nothing but that. We want all of you, Jesus. And I thank you, Lord, again. I just release the fullness of your presence upon the people of this call today, that they can walk it out, that they can hear your voice, be led by your spirit, and do what they must do this day, knowing that you've got them, that you've got them, that you've got them. I command all fear, all anxiety, all anxious thoughts, all residual traces of depression. You must go. We're told that if we refuse to tolerate it, it's got to flee. We're told, oh my goodness, that the seed of the woman will crush the seed of the serpent. And just as Moses raised his staff in the wilderness and they looked upon it and they were instantly healed, representing the cross and the serpent crushed under Jesus's feet to come. 
You look, you look upon this now. I want you to see what's on this staff. As I carve this thing out, it's got a full serpent's head on it. You can't make this stuff up. The Lord gave me a staff with a serpent's head on it. You turn it around, and it's a loon. Now, for our American friends, people in Canada, they know what a loon is. It's one, probably one of the most elegant birds that we have. It's a water bird. It's elegant. It puts out a beautiful sound. It dives. It's precise. It catches whatever it goes for. And on one side of this staff, he gives me a serpent. And on the other side of the staff, he gives me the elegant loon that can go and pick that thing right out of the water, take it up to a thousand feet and drop it. <laughs> Just can't make this stuff up. Today, I command. I all oh, I hold this now. And Lord, I command that by your presence, those who look upon this, let them be healed spiritually, emotionally, and physically. In the name of Christ Jesus, I command fear, go. I command anxiety, go. I command depression, go. I command every derivative cousin spirit to each of those spirits to go. In the name of Jesus Christ, get out. The seed of the woman now crushes you under his and her feet in the name of Jesus Christ. All right. Well, I think that's a good place to land the plane today. I think that's a good place. God bless each and every one of you. Thank you for bringing your voices, your presence, mm -hmm. your, the fullness of your being into the presence of God. And thank you for allowing me just to, to do this with you every single day. It's an honor. It's a privilege. Thank you, Lord. 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 And let, thank you, and let us never way. take it for granted. Yeah, you're welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. It'll never be the same, guys. Yeah, bless no. you. Bless thank you also. You. Looking yeah, forward to Christmas. I I'm looking forward to you. Sunday. I got my eyes fixed on yeah. Sunday, but yeah, I'm yeah, also looking too. forward to Christmas. Me too. <laughs> yeah. Yes, I'm also looking forward. I'm, I'm, I'm looking forward. You know, I think we're going to have a different kind of New Year. January 1st is going to be a different New Year celebration going on that night. And uh, yeah. I think we're going we're gonna, to we're gonna be out in the streets dancing and singing and praising like David. Yeah. Clanging cymbals and shouting at the top yes. of our lungs. Um, yes, I believe it. I believe it. It will. That's what we, that's what we should look forward to now. And this, we start, to, we start declaring that forward. Yeah. yeah. Praise you again. Crazy. Looking God. forward to Praise Sunday. You. Looking forward to Thanksgiving, which is also Feast of Tabernacles. Yeah. Very yeah, special. Amazing. Yeah. You know, and another little thing you don't know, Michaela's birthday always falls. Almost every year it falls on Thanksgiving Day. Just to, somehow it lines up that way. The last several years, her birthday and Thanksgiving have been the same day. <laughs> yeah. All right. All right. Well, we're going to shut this thing down. It's 930. I got to get a little breakfast and then I got a meeting. So I got I to gotta run. God bless each and every single one of you. And uh, we'll see you tomorrow. You know, it's always the same God time, same God channel. We'll see you here tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Stream or no stream. You. We're doing it. <laughs> Thank God you. bless you all. Thank you. Good night. God bless you guys. Bless you all. 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 Bless you Bless you Bless you all. 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 Bless you all.